Okay, so in this very brief video, what I'm going to show you how to do is use the uh, MLA International Bibliography on Literary and Cultural Subjects uh, to find an article about Lady Susan. Now you just need to have one scholarly article about Lady Susan uh, that you should read. It should be on a subject that interests you. Um, you should read it and incorporate that into your annotated bibliography. Okay. And what we're doing here, if you remember, is informing ourselves about what, in general, people have to say about Jane, Jane Austen and Lady Susan, okay. so that we can be more informed about the research that we're going to be doing for our um, web accessible project. Okay, You can use this research in your um, annotations for the, uh, the web project that we're doing. Or you can use other resources, but this is meant to give you a sense of how to recognize good sources, good information. So uh, I've gone to databases by subject, literature, uh, articles and databases, and here I am in databases by subject. I'm going to select literature and language again, but instead of going to Gale Literature, I'm going to go to this one, the MLA International Bibliography with Full Text. Okay. Um, this is the MLA of MLA style, right? So it's a it's a it's a national group. Um, sorry, an international group that uh, that that gathers data and information on scholarship in literary subjects, and makes those makes that research available, um, you know, in a in a discipline specific form. So so this is should look pretty familiar to you if you've ever used library databases. This is EBSCO. Um, they are the ones that now own the MLA bibliography. Uh, and have made it, you know, accessible for us in this fashion. So we're going to do very basic, simple searches, okay? All I want to do is find something about Lady Susan. Now, you can add something like Jane Austen here if you really want, but how many things really do you think will be returned about something in quotes, a phrase called Lady Susan, uh, that are not about the novel that Jane Austen wrote? Well, probably not very many, okay? If we really want to be sure, then we can type in Austen as well here. I'm not worrying about what kinds of fields they are. It doesn't matter. I can put all of it up here. It doesn't matter, okay? The computer doesn't care that you put things in different fields, okay? I'm just going to do a very basic search. Um, and I'm not going to deal with any of the advanced stuff down here. I'm going to see what we get first. I'm just going to click search. All right, we have 42 results. That's it. Okay. So you want to look through these 42 results, find one with full text. Okay. And one that interests you. Okay. And you want to download it and you want to read it and you want to cite it and add it in your annotated bibliography. Okay. So. Uh, I'll show you how to browse through this a little bit. Um, I would not limit this to full text, okay, here, because sometimes the index, the MLA, International Bibliography Index, does not sync up fully and correctly with the array of online text options. So instead, what we're going to do is look for either icons down here, PDF full text, HTML full text, or you can click Find Full Text, okay? Um, some of these are chapters in books, okay, um, like these. These are both chapters in books, okay, and the icons will tell you. The other way to tell is by looking um, at this, okay. Um, this is going to be in a book that's edited by these two people, these three people, okay, and the book that they're writing is called um, The Failed Text, Literature, and Failure, okay. Uh, so this is a chapter in a longer book, right? It's an article inside a longer book that's going to have multiple different kinds of essays about literature and failure in it. One of those essays is on Lady Susan, okay? Uh, so if you want to work with a book, you're going to have to be sure that it's, a, that, it's a, that it's an online book, which may or may not be the case. Um, but you click Find Full Text to see if you can find it. I don't think we're going to be able to find this one in full text. Um, you may have to log on. Um, oh, look, we do have full text. Hey, that's great. <laughs> okay, so um, this is a book chapter which you can totally use for this project. So you click into the um, availability information and then it will bring you to uh, the ebook um, interface. 
Now, this is ProQuest's ebook interface. There are a couple different ebook providers. Um, their, their interfaces will look a little tiny bit different for each one. Um, but, but most of the stuff that I've found so far has been in ProQuest. Okay, so most of them will look like this. So you want to scroll down until you find um, the source that that we were that we were looking for. Now this one doesn't look like it's it, it's up here clearly. Okay, so what we need to do is um, expand these a little bit. Okay, um, I don't know that it's going to be easy for us to find this. Um, yeah, it's just got chapter twelve. That's really weird. So let's go back to our um, record. Okay, and you'll notice that this has a page associated with it. Okay, page 81. This is the number, the page number on which this essay starts. It's also by this person, Rocio Sumiera. So those are two clues that you can um, use. So this doesn't have page numbers in it right now, but it does give us these. Okay, uh, here, here it is, page numbers. Okay, so we're looking for page 81. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here it is, it's chapter five. And there it is, okay? So here is an article. Even though it's a chapter in a book, it's still a scholarly article, okay, for our purposes. Um, and you can use this one. There are a couple things to note up here if you're finding a book chapter. Um, you can download it, save it as a PDF, you can copy it, print it, etc. This button here is gonna be really useful for us. You can cite it, okay? Click Get Citation. And then um, it will give you some options here. We're looking for MLA. Now notice that this is only giving you the entry for the whole book, okay? This is not correct as a bibliographic citation. And it's not correct because it is not the, the citation for this essay, right? The failed text that wasn't Jane Austen's Lady Susan by actually David Owen, not Sumiera, okay? <laughs> so the person who actually wrote this, this article is David Owen. The title of the article is the failed text that wasn't Jane Austen's Lady Susan. And you'll notice that that is in this information here, right? It, it says it's by somebody else. So this is an error in the database, okay? It happens, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> when you choose your uh, essay, if you want this one, you will have to, you know, uh, edit that a little bit, edit that that um, MLA entry, okay, in your works cited. So you download this, you read it, you write your summary of it, and you include it in your annotated bibliography, okay? Um, let's go back to the list of results, though, and I want to show you um, how to find another one. Um, <clears throat> So Lady Susan, a reevaluation of Jane Austen's epistolary novel in something called Persuasions, the Jane Austen Journal. Okay, we're going to click find full text. I know a little bit about this journal, and I know that it is an online journal, but I don't think it's going to show up as available here. Um, right? It's going to, it looks like it's not available. It is available. This is an online article. Persuasions, the Jane Austen Journal is an online journal, okay? I know that, you don't, okay? Um, if you find anything in Persuasions that you think would be interesting, just copy the title, open up a new tab, and paste it in there, okay? And here it will be, okay? Um, and look at this David Owen again. He's he's definitely a name that, that, um, that keeps coming up, okay? Um, so let's see, featured in by page numbers. I'm not sure why it's not showing up here. And this one may not be available because it's in a particular, um, um, uh, volume, but, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. We might just have to kind of, kind of dig around, right? Um, I'm going to click around and see if I can find this. Um, let's see, uh, here it is. I don't know why this is not showing up though. Um, I don't know. Let's try to print it and see what happens. Uh, no, nope, it's not giving us this, the right thing. Um, I'm not sure why this isn't showing up. Normally it would, okay? <laughs> we can take a look at another um, at another entry just to see. But you'll notice that some things are gonna be in persuasions. Um, the Jane, oh, I see, here we go. Jane Austen Journal Online. Um, there's a print version and an online version. Sorry about that. So the online version you will have access to. It may not show up here, right? See, it doesn't look like it's here, um, but this is the online version of that journal. So I'm going to copy it 
and paste it and it should come up um, in persuasions okay um, let me see if I can scroll down and find the Lady Susan. Here it is, Justice in Epistolary Matters, okay? Um, and here is the article, all right? So sorry about that. Um, Persuasions has a print version, which we don't have access to, and they have an online version that we do have access to, even though it won't come up as, um, um, as available, okay, in uh, this list. Uh, other options that you have are JSTOR, Project Muse. Most of those will be pretty easy to find. You just click the PDF full text or find it online and you'll get um, options here, okay? I've showed you how to do um, searches that maybe are a little bit more complicated, how to find book articles and how to find um, um, articles that aren't easily accessible through a link but are available online because it's in something like Persuasions the online Jane Austen journal, okay? Um, so have fun, there are lots of interesting materials out there. I will do another video that shows you how to find general information using a broad-based database, okay?